lot of exciting announcements around Azure service these days. One of them has me extremely excited called Database Watcher. We're going to look at a quick start deployment of one of those on today's Tales from the Field. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. If this is your first time finding us on Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. Welcome on Tales from the Field. We drop content Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we have this thing we like to call the round table, where we share blogs, links, videos, posts from you, the folks of the Azure community for the Azure community. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we have this thing we like to call MS Tech Bits. You're watching one of those now. Let's get over to it. Recently, our Azure SQL team made an exciting announcement. We can now monitor our Azure SQL workloads with Database Watcher, which is in preview. I recommend going to this documentation here on the screen. You'll also see a brief architectural diagram, a high-level diagram of what Database Watcher is. Today's video is going to be based off of this quick start. And I recommend also going through this data watcher, data collection, and data assets documentation. All this will be provided in the description of the video down below. And also with this create and configure a database watcher, there's some good prerequisites identified in here that if I scroll down, you'll see, but I recommend you go through and you read these as there are some prerequisites that are required to have in place in order to deploy this new and exciting feature called Database Watcher. Okay, so let's get over to the demo and get over to the portal now that we have the documentation identified. Here in the portal, you can see I have, I'm in my Database Watcher screen. I already have a Database Watcher deployed, but I wanted to walk through one with you today. So let's go ahead and hit Create. We're gonna fill in here in Basics, our subscription, our resource group as always, we're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it Data Database Watcher Tales from the Field, and I'm gonna deploy it in the East US region. I just wanted to hit the drop down here to show that this is in a limited set of regions right now, as this is in preview, but I expect these regions to increase. For identity, we're gonna to have to have the system aside manage identity set to on. By default here, the team has done that for us. So with that being said, the next thing we want to do is we want to go over and look at our data store. Here in our data store, you can see we can create a new Azure Data Explorer cluster and database. We also have the option to select the data store or skip at this time. We are going to do a create, but I wanted to look at a select a data store. We're going to go ahead and click add. And look at that, exciting enough, if we already had an Azure Data Explorer deployed with a database, we could use that. But excitingly enough, they also provide us the opportunity to use real-time analytics in Microsoft Fabric, Fabric Everything, right? So we're gonna go to create a new Data Explorer cluster and database for today. We're gonna leave it as the default name there, and we're going to select next. Now for SQL targets, we're not gonna deploy one here. I want to show how we can do that after we have deployed our database watcher. All right, in review and create, we're going to review what we have there on the screen. We're going to go ahead and select create. With the deployment complete, we're going to go to resource. It's going to take us to our database watcher. Here on the screen, you can see all the items we can control within our database watcher. Let's first look at our data store. If I click on data store, it's going to show us the data store and the database that we have deployed that our database watcher is going to stream the data to. But let's look at SQL targets. We need to add a target. We need to monitor something. Let's go ahead and click add. We're gonna go over to our add SQL target. We're gonna select SQL database in this case. We're also gonna fill in our subscription name, the server, the SQL server that hosts our Azure SQL DB and the Azure SQL DB that we want to monitor. We're not gonna select read intent or use SQL authentication. We're gonna use Microsoft Entra in this case, which is the recommended authentication method when using Database Watcher. The team has added something really cool. They've added this grant access section. Let's click on the first one there, Entra authentication. When I go ahead and click on that, it's gonna give me the T-SQL script that I need to execute on my Azure SQL database SQL server to provide Database Watcher access to it. 
So over here on SSMS, I'm connected to my SQL Server that's hosting my Azure SQL DB. I'm going to execute that. That has granted Database Watcher access to our Azure SQL DB. Note, I ran that in master. Now we want to add a managed private endpoint. So we're going to select manage private endpoint and hit add. We're going to fill in the information in the screen here, our private endpoint name, the subscription, our resource type, our resource, which is going to be the SQL Server that is hosting our Azure SQL DB. Note we have different options there in the resource type. This time I'm going to use Microsoft.SQL Servers. We're going to go ahead and hit add. Once that is complete, we need to go over to our private link center and approve the connection. So we're going to go over here. We're going to select on pending connections. We're going to select approve and we're going to select yes after we put in a description there. With our private endpoint approved, we need to go back to our database watcher, select on overview. And what do we need to do? We need to start our engines, folks. Let's go ahead and hit start on that. With that started, you should see a status of running. With that running, we can now go to our dashboard, select Azure SQL databases here. And once that opens up, we should see something very exciting. And look at that. We are monitoring our Stack Overflow 2013 database on our SQL Server. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited. What did I tell you? Database Watcher folks, we did a basic deployment today and we are monitoring in Azure SQL DB. Look for future videos where we're going to look at additional configurations, adding different uh, targets, and so on and so forth there. Um, you know where we like to keep this going in the comments down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about Database Watcher. You can tell I'm really excited. And as always, thank you from Tales from the Field, and be good to each other, y'all. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations.